I'm young for that. Well, no. Local news. <laughs> Straight in. Big, that, well, that's part of the problem. <laughs> My daughter, Geraldine. Yeah. Her boyfriend broke up with her. Jeez. Oh, now, to be honest, I never liked him. All right. He brought wine down to me for Christmas one time. Fucking thing was 15 years old. <laughs> I fucked it down the drain. <laughs> Did that I t- gave a bottle of it and it was from Spain or, or someplace. I, knew where. I gave a bottle of it to the dog. He got sick. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Imagine I drank it. <laughs> you fucking dead. Huh? <laughs> huh? I can be fucking dead. <laughs> I I never liked him. But it's a vi- it's wine's vintage. Huh? <laughs> vintage. Just say, I no I never liked him. Right. right. And when they came down, I made them sleep in separate rooms. Okay. In my house, she would sleep in her old bedroom, mm. and he'd sleep in the shed. <laughs> well, <laughs> the cows be in the shed. Right. He'd sleep in the barn. It was fairly open. And then he came in the next morning, coughing and spluttering all over the kitchen. He was after catching a cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm Fuck not surprised. It. Fucking Egypt. <laughs> I never liked him. You never. So we had to go to Dublin then one time, right? That's where right. he's from. Right. Up to his father's funeral. They were all standing on the grave crying. I said, this is the greatest load of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I had to go up and shake hands. And he says, Noel, thanks for coming. And I said, are you... Thanking me for impregnating my wife. <laughs> and giving birth to this beautiful daughter of mine who has low enough self-esteem to go out with you. you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Is that what you're saying? I said, it's hardly the time and place, Derek. I don't think that's... I never liked him. I don't think that's what you meant. After the funeral then, terrible. No band, no DJ. They all stood up and started telling stories about the deceased. But sure, I didn't know the man. <laughs> The stories are wasted on me pure pointless like. It was lost on you. A terrible day out. I said it to him too. <laughs> what you said? This is possibly the worst funeral <laughs> I was ever at. I never liked him. <laughs> so she says to me, she's going to get a revenge body. Okay, right. right I said, yeah, yeah. okay, who do you want? <laughs> <laughs> His brother? <laughs> His uncle lives alone. It could be easily done. Can we two good young lads who've been in and out in an hour? <laughs> a close family friend, maybe. <laughs> I'll get you a body. I thought she you... said she's going to the gym. <laughs> I said, who the fuck is Jim? I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> it should be me. <laughs> I never liked him. You never liked him, yeah, yeah. I could bring Dan Bryan. Well, he's, he's seen a lot of men die. <laughs> Has he? Normally jiving related, but it's the same skill set. <laughs> the very first time Geraldine brought her boyfriend down. They got out of the car, and I said, "I said to her straight away, Geraldine, look, you're not hectic, but he's fucking rank. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you're hardly riding him." <laughs> and he came up and said, "Hello, Mister Furlong, I'm Derek." I said, "I don't care if you're Derek Mooney." I said, "You want, you want?" <laughs> I said, "God love you, you're one ugly bastard." <laughs> and I said to him, "I said, look, Geraldine's brought home a lot of men over the years, <laughs> most nights out now." And I said, "I'd hear them banging around like owl, like dirty lads and all." I said, but you're a fucking new law. I said, you take the biscuit tin. <laughs> I'm only joking. Jolly wouldn't be like that now. But yeah, I just, yeah, yeah, that's good. I kind of wanted to rise him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get see, what, rise up. see what way he'd take it. Like, yeah, you yeah. know. Well, I suppose he didn't know what to say in fairness to him. But, but you never liked him. <sighs> I never fucking liked him. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> now that you think about it. Well spotted. Yeah. Thank you. I used to do little things now like, cousin of ours was getting married mm. and she rang when she doing the invites saying, does Geraldine have a plus one? And I'd say, no. <laughs> That's terrible. Or if he was at our house and he might run out to get something out of the car, yeah. I'd knock him out. <laughs> Fuck him. Out in the rain. Just he made a, him sleep in a barn. Is just it? a bit of crack. <laughs> We'd be having the dinner and I'd say, Geraldine, uh, I was telling her, your ex, Dan Dolan, is single again. Right. He's a plaster. So you know he's good at fingering. <laughs> <laughs> Stocky fella. That's terrible. Stocky lad, Dan, you know Dan Dolan? Yeah, yeah. Stocky lad with the big Mickey. Mm, yeah. They call him the Wathorn Can. <laughs> <laughs> and I says to her, he, Derek was there. I said, Geraldine, look, would you not think of getting back with Dan? Uh, you, well, not while your man's there right. and all. He, well, he didn't know what to say or not, to be fair to him. And she was saying Dan was a terrible boyfriend, that he never took her anywhere because he was always working. And I said, look, at least he was local. I said, Derek is a fucking yuppie. <laughs> He'd wear his ass as a hat, just for the. You said. 
<laughs> so they had a, they broke it. They had a row anyway. Oh cheers! Off the back of it, and they broke up. Oh, so you broke him up? What? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> well, do you know what? I never liked him. <laughs> I never fucking liked him. And you could tell that. I could tell. I could just tell. You could tell. It's yeah. a gaslight. Sometimes you, you just know people. Yeah. You can just tell. You can telepathic. We went out celebrating anyway. Oh jeez. Lord, I was never so drunk. <laughs> I hadn't been that drunk since Paddy Fong's 31st. <laughs> oh, 31st? Yeah. Well, you were never great accountant. <laughs> Paddy. <laughs> Completely forgot his 21st. <laughs> anyway, the news is Geraldine is back on the She's market. She's on the market, okay. Geraldine is back on the market. Any potential suitors can give us a call on 062 620 <laughs> And ask for Paddy Fong, who is handling the inquiries. <laughs> that is, Geraldine is back on the market. And ask for Fong. Hold on, hold on. What did, what did you... What did Over you, and out. What, you, what, did, you, what did you say the number if you, was? If you are not getting within an ass's roar her. I'm taking sure. Yeah, f- I just wanted to... Taking the piss. <laughs> I just wanted to see the number. You'll be taking the fucking back road home if I went to see her. Taking the fucking bus to Clamelli with. Art Keane. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. Look. 